Hello, and welcome to Pump Tech's tutorial on the 113C pump rebuild. In this video, we'll be taking apart our 113C pump, replacing the parts inside, and putting the pump back together. For this rebuild, we'll be using kits A and B. In kit A, we have two U-cups, grease, two O16 O-rings, two plunger guides, and a plunger. In kit B, we have more grease, 116 O-rings, four of those, eight white washers, and four valves. As far as tools that we'll need, we'll be using a towel that grease from the kits, pliers, a 3 16 hex wrench, a small screwdriver, some water, and of course we'll need our pump. All right, let's get it at our pump. We will first take out those two retainer plates. They're gonna fall out regardless as we flip our pump around. Let's now put our pump on the manifold, and then we can get those two bolts that secure the heads to the manifold. Um, using that 3 16 hex wrench, we can loosen those bolts and put those to the side, along with the washers that go with them. And we can flip our pump back onto the heads. Um, we can remove the manifold. With the manifold, there should be four white washers. Those might stick to the valves, or they could be in the pocket still. Um, we'll just remove those and put those to the side as well. Once those are out of the way, we can get to the valves and the O-rings around the valves. And you can pay attention to how the valves are oriented, but we will discuss how to put those back appropriately later. Um, those valves and, and 116 O-rings will go to the side, and there should be four more white washers in between the valves and the two heads. We'll put those to the side, and then we can now take our heads off of the plunger. This should be relatively smooth. Take them off, and we can get inside that seal bore, or where the plunger goes into the head. Um, there should be a plunger guide with an O-ring around the plunger guide, and a U-cup within that plunger guide. We don't necessarily need to take those apart, but we can. You have all, the, all the replacement parts should be replacing those, so if they get damaged, don't worry about that. Now that our pump is um, vacant, we can replace all the parts within the pump with using kits A and B. So we'll first grab kit A, and we'll grab the U-cups. And there's a smooth side, and there's a rigid side, um, so you can see kind of what's inside the U-cup. And that side will face out of the plunger guide. So the smooth side will go into the plunger guide. We'll do that for both plunger guides. And then we will put that O16 O-ring with a little bit of grease around the plunger guide. We will need to stretch the O-ring over top of it a little bit. And it should fit inside that channel on the plunger guide. Now putting the plunger guide into the seal bore of the head, we will make sure that the, the smaller circumference end is facing out of the pump. So the U-cup side will go into the pump, and it should just kind of pop in there. You might need a little bit of pressure from your thumbs, or you can use a tool if you don't want to bend your thumbs too hard, and it should just kind of pop into place. Once those are in there, you can put one retainer plate on each side, and the retainer plates will have the cutout portion outside of the pump. So the smooth part of that retainer plate will face into the pump. With our heads ready to go, we can put the plunger into each plunger guide and that slot will face away from us so that when, when you eventually put the pump back onto the motor that it will easily fit onto that cam. The slot should be centered and facing away from us at this time. So now we'll grab kit B and we'll put four white washers onto the manifold. I like to put water so that when we flip the manifold over onto the heads, those white washers stay in place. Now we will put four more white washers onto the valve pockets on the heads. And these pockets will also get the valves. And if you see the sticker on your pump, that's how we like to denote where the outlets are. And so we put our X's facing us onto those heads. So the X will be on the top, one on each head. And then below those X's, we will have O's. So X is the outlet and the O is the inlet. And so this is important when you put your pump back on your motor. So you have the right inlet for your, your fluid source or, you know, whatever you're pumping and that it gets to where it needs to be. Now that we have those valves in place, we can put our 116 O-rings around those valves, and those should fit snugly just around the valves. And we can flip our manifolds with the four wet washers already in them onto the heads. So if you copied how I did it, you have two retainer plates on one side of the heads. As we flip our pump onto the manifold all together, we can now put in the other two retainer plates, but we may need to secure the heads to the manifolds first. So we will take our 3 16 hex wrench with our bolts and our washers and secure the heads to the manifold. With everything in place, we are done putting our pumps together. If you carefully look inside the outlet holes and you look into the, the ports, you should be able to see an X 
on your outlet side on the top of the pump where the sticker is. This has been the 113C pump rebuild tutorial. Thank you for joining us. If you have any other questions, please give us a call, visit our website, or check out our other videos. Thanks and have a great day.